Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture, we'll continue with our discussion on for loops in lists. Let's see one example. We'll use for loops to see if a number is divisible by six. Let's have a list of numbers. Let's say numbers is equal to two, three, six, eight, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-two, and twenty-six. So we have a list of numbers. What we'll do is we'll use a for loop to iterate through each of these numbers and see if they are divisible by six. We know that a number is divisible by six if it's divisible by two and also three. So we'll use this knowledge for our for loop. If a number is divisible by three and also by two, it means it's divisible by six. For instance, to find out which numbers are divisible by three, we can say, we can use a for loop for, let's say, for numbers in our numbers list, we can say if our number modulus 3 is equal to 0, it means the number is divisible by 3. Print. Let's print the number. Okay, so modulus means number divisible, number modulus 3 means when that number in our list divided by 3, if, if the remainder is 0, that means that number is divisible by 3. For instance, let's say we have 6, so 6 modulus 3 is 0. Because when you divide 6 by 3, there is no remainder. So if we simply say 6 modulus 3, the result is 0. And if we, if we say 5 modulus 3, the result will be 2. Because the remainder is 2. So that's modulus. Now, if we print the statement, if we run this, only the numbers divisible by 3 will be printed out, which are 3, 6, 12, 15, 8, and 18. Let's run it. Integer object is not iterable. Oh, let's run our cell first. We didn't run our cell. Now let's run it again. Okay, we have 3, 6, 12, 15 and 18. So this is how we know a number is divisible by 3. Similarly, we can do the same for to find out which numbers are divisible by 2. In that case, it will be if number modulus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, we have the idea now. Now let's see which numbers are divisible by 6. So we have our numbers list. Let's do that. So we can say for number in our numbers list, what we'll do is we'll first check if our number is divisible by 2. So we can say if our number modulus 2, if our number modulus 2 is equal to 0. So in this case, at this at this time, we know that our number is divisible by 2. So the next thing we need to check is if a number is divided divisible by 2, if number modulus 2 is 0, let's also check if that number is divisible by 3 also. So we can say if number modulus 3 is equal to 
zero. So we're doing a second check. We can print. Then we can print. Um, we can print. Let's print the number. Then we can also print the above number is divisible by six. It makes sense, right? Or else, now let's close our else statement. Else, let's print the above number is divisible by two only. Okay. So we have that. So the first thing we checked was if the number is divisible by two. Yes. If that's true, also check if that number is divisible by three. If it's true, that means the number is divisible by six. Else, let's also print the number. Print the number. And then the above number is divisible by two only. Great. So we have taken part of the divisibility by two and six. Next, let's take part. Let's take care of divisibility by three only. So here, the outer if we have if number modulus two is equal to zero. So let's finish that if statement. Let's close it by our else else we can say if number modulus 3 if number modulus 3 is equal to 0 we can say the number print let's print the number and then we can also print the above number is divisible by three only else else let's print the number and let's print the above number is not divisible by both two and three or we can say the above number is not yeah by both two and three okay let's look at our statements one more time let's see what's going on so first we have four number four num in numbers so we have our numbers list for num in numbers means for each element in our numbers list okay for num in numbers set so if our number modulus 2 is equal to 0 if that number is divisible by 2 execute this so check this condition check also if the number is divisible by 3 if that is correct so the number is divisible by both 2 and 3 which is divisible by 6 but if that condition is not correct it says the above number is divisible by 2 so since we are checking divisibility by 2 first it's divisible by 2 only okay now if this condition fails if the number is not divisible by 2 it means go directly to the else condition and in the else statement it says if the number is divisible by 3 print the number and if the number is not divisible by 3 it means the, the number is not divisible by both 2 and 3 okay now let's run our code and see which numbers are divisible by 6 so run it 
Okay, first we have the number two, and it says the above number is divisible by two only, which is correct. Then we have three, the above number is divisible by three only, which makes sense. And then we have six, the above number is divisible by six, which is both two and three, good. Eight is divisible by two only, 12 is divisible by six, makes sense. 15 by three only, 18 by six, um, 22 by two only, 26 by two only. Okay, we are lacking the last condition here, right? Not divisible by two and three. So let's add one more number in our list. We can add 11, 13, let's say 25, and run the numbers again, then run our code here. Okay, so where is 11? So 11, here it says, the above number is not divisible by both two and three, great. 13, the number is not divisible by both two and three. Great, so our code is working. So this is an, this shows you how we can use the for loop in conjunction with the if statement to see if a given number is divisible by six. As an assignment for you, try if a number is divisible by 12. So a number is divisible by 12 if it's also divisible by both three and four. So try that as an exercise. Thank you everyone. And in the next lecture, we'll see how we can iterate through a sequence of lists using for loops.